I'm in Chicago at the Search Engine Strategies Conference here with Bruce Clay, an expert in search engine optimization. Bruce, uh, it isn't all that long ago that Google started, uh, as you were typing in a query, they start showing you results even before you finish called Google Instant. Right. How do we, what's the implication of Google Instant for the future of search engine optimization? Well, as you know, obviously there have been a lot of articles on this. So they started creeping and, in there at the moment. My happened. feeling is people haven't had it around long enough to really mm -hmm. analyze it, but it's been now two or three months. So what's your take on it? Well, I like it. Um, now there's a downside in that somebody might be putting in a query, they might see a suggestion, and they might take it as a detour. Mm -hmm. So if I were typing in search engine optimization and the number one was tips, I might not have normally typed in tips, but obviously I wanted tips, therefore I'll take that link. What it means for uh, the site is that all the websites have their primary keywords they type in the keyword, they leave a space at the end, they look at the longer words that come up, and they have to start adding that as potential uh, keywords for their site if it's appropriate. So it is going to uh, stimulate a lot of action at an SEO front on long tail things that you should have been optimizing for all along, okay. you just didn't do it. So this is, gives an advantage to long tail? Yes. Is it a disadvantage for the head keywords, the, the main keywords for a topic? or not? <laughs> I don't think it's a disadvantage at all. I think, and from some samples I've seen in surveys, uh, the, the click ratio doesn't change, the queries seem to be about the same. So it is a suggestion tool, clearly. It is not uh, behaviorally changing a lot of people yet. I think that uh, there's just as many people who think it's annoying as think it's great. Um, and I find I don't use it. Now, most of the time I use the toolbar so anyhow. Yeah. Now, so, now, is there any implication that's different for pay-per-click advertisers that are on the right side of the page, or is the same kind of things apply in your opinion? Well, there, you know, the conference just started, and I'm sure that the pay-per-click tracks are really going to get into this. But, um, yes, I think that the ultimate query, there will be some impact. I think that the way people get there, as I said, there may be detours. So some of the longer tail things might be more queries. You might find that there's more four and five and six word queries than there used to be. Hmm. I think there could be many. Um, but the thing that is um, still unknown about it is what is the impact on local? And local is a big topic. So we're going to have to you know, consider that impact as well. Does it does it cause geo-targeting to not happen? Does it turn off certain pay-per-click items? Because you may not have picked the right keyword. Uh, certainly, Google is leaning away in the pay-per-click space from their uh, keyword research tool that they have as part of uh, AdWords. They're leaving a behind, if you will, the suggestions for some of the longer tail keywords. Mm -hmm. They've they reduced the uh, how broad they're keeping statistics and presenting those to you. So I think that people are going to have less information about long tail, mm -hmm. but they're going to see more long tail in inclination. Um, what a person might have used to type in will now will find that there's fewer from that point of view. It's already in the list, I'll just pick it. Mm -hmm. So they're going to be fitting what they might have randomly typed in into one of those. But if I would have typed a two-word phrase, I think I'll type a three-word phrase. Okay. It'll be more targeted. That, by definition, means that the return on investment will be more specific. I think that Google's doing it for the purpose of having it be more specific because then the bids per click will be higher and it will help Google make money. If It won't impact the user. Well, they say that it, it saves two to five seconds per query. If I, that's true... Uh, then it helps their end user that, that, that they, they've defined, which is the searcher. Well, thanks so much for sharing with us about a topic that's still being figured out. Yes. Uh, tell me about your business and what you do, Bruce. We do SEO. We do pay-per-click, analytics, uh, branding. We do conversion analysis and improve uh, conversion rates on sites. Our claim to fame is SEO. Uh, with the conferences, I do training. 
Uh, obviously, I speak at most of them. I have offices internationally. We support large and small accounts, all of the above. A lot of activity in local, though. That's, that's heating up, too. And uh, as far as I'm concerned, you're one of the top go-to guys in the whole world for search engine optimization. Thanks for taking time with us. This is Ralph Wilson with Web Marketing.